The Proclamation of the Gospel Written by Luke, Chapter 12 Verse 1 to 7 Glory to you Lord, at that time, so many people were crowding together, that they were trampling one another underfoot. Jesus began to speak, first to his disciples. Beware of the leaven that is, the hypocrisy of the Pharisees. There is nothing concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. Therefore whatever you have said in the darkness, will be heard in the light, and what you have whispered behind closed doors, will be proclaimed on the housetops. I tell you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body but after that can do no more. I shall show you whom to fear. Be afraid of the one who after killing, has the power to cast into Gehenna. Yes, I tell you, be afraid of that one. Are not five sparrows sold for two small coins? Yet not one of them has escaped the notice of God. Even the hairs of your head have all been counted. Do not be afraid, you are worth more than many sparrows. The Gospel of the Lord, praise to you Lord Jesus Christ. Our daily reflection, are not five sparrows sold for two small coins. Yet not one of them has escaped the notice of God. Even the hairs of your head have all been counted. Do not be afraid, you are worth more than many sparrows. Luke 12, 6-7. Do not be afraid. These words are often repeated in the Holy Scriptures. In this passage, Jesus says we should not be afraid because of the fact that the Father in heaven is attentive to every last detail of our lives. Nothing has escaped the notice of God. If God is attentive to the sparrows, he is even more attentive to us. That should give us a certain sense of peace and confidence. Of course, one reason that this can still be difficult to believe is that there are many times when it feels like God is quite distant and inattentive to our lives. It's important to remember that whenever we have this feeling, it's only a feeling and not reality. Reality is that God is infinitely more attentive to the details of our lives than we could ever realize. In fact, He's far more attentive to us than we are attentive to ourselves. And not only is He attentive to every detail, He is deeply concerned about every detail. So why might it feel like God is distant at times? There could be many reasons for this but we should be certain that there is always a reason. Perhaps we are not listening to him and not praying as we should and thus we are missing his attentiveness and guidance. Perhaps he has chosen to remain silent in a matter as a way of drawing us closer to himself. Perhaps his silence is actually a very clear sign of his presence and his will. Reflect, today, upon the fact that regardless of how we may feel at times we must be certain of the truth of this passage above. You are worth more than many sparrows. God has even counted the hairs on your head and every part of your life is fully present to him. Allow these truths to give you consolation and hope knowing that this attentive God is also a God of perfect love and mercy and will provide for you all that you need in life. Lord, I know you love me and are aware of every feeling, thought and experience I have in life. You are aware of every problem and concern I have. Help me to continually turn to you in all things knowing of your perfect love and guidance. Jesus, I trust in you.